hey there beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chris as always and today we're going to talk about how to install the JetBrains c Lion or crayon ide on windows 10. we're going to go through various steps and i want you to follow me along so as to never meet with any errors and i guarantee you that uh, you are going to get a glimpse on how to install this one uh, with no further ado let's go ahead and click on my browser in this case i'm using chrome you can uh, use another browser of your favorite but i like chrome uh, get the job done and um as long as to get the job done i um, have no problem with it so go ahead and type uh, JetBrains uh c -Lion like this one and press enter and the first link that will come will be from jetbrains.com and it is a cross platform IDE for C and C++ by JetBrains and this IDE is, is very good so we're going to go on the first link and visit this website which is the jetbrains.com and will be welcomed with this interface and you can see that there will be uh, an option to get the 30 day trial and what this means that uh, we we don't have money to buy this ide for this time and we want to try this 30 days trial for evaluation to see how it works and once we are satisfied you can come back and buy it now using this button but in this case i'm going to try the 30 days trial and go ahead and click on get that this trial and the download will start it will get you a setup and we have to wait for this file to be downloaded and once it will be complete we will continue with other things all right cool once our download is complete you can see that the setup is now here you can go ahead and click on it to open and for having a proper workspace i'm going to minimize my browser and i will have the clean workspace like this one so let's wait for the setup to start right and you can see now the instruction wizard is started you can click next to continue as it is as it is asking you to do that go ahead and place on next and this is will be the instruction for that will be on my c program files jetbrains c lion 2021.2.3 this is the current version that i'm going to install for the time of making this video and the space required on my hard disk is 1.8 gigabytes and they they have to tell you this because they want you to be aware of what it will take when it will be installed on your system and after leaving this as your destination folder i like to leave the default because it is now the proper way of avoiding further errors so go ahead and place on next and when you reach here there will be a lot of options and you have to pay attention when it comes to this update path variable because it will require to it will require you to restart your system and i'm going to check this to create a, a shortcut on my desktop and i'm going to add the bin folder to the path like this one and i will leave all those uh, as unchecked and i have to go ahead and place on next and it will also ask you for the start menu for that in this case it's jet friends and we are okay with that go ahead and place on install and we have to wait for this process to be done you can bring uh, down this uh, show details to see what's going on here so that if you there will be a failure or there will be an error you have to come and see on the logs on where the error was all right so let's wait for this to be done all right once now the setup is completed and as i was telling you that after we complete the installation it can require me to restart my system but for the demonstration purpose i'm not going to restart mine but you can go ahead and reboot your system so as to have all the functionalities in one place so let me go ahead and click on finish and when you take a closer look on the desktop, you can see that the this is Lion IDE is on my desktop. I'm going to double click on this one to open. And the pronunciation about the C Lion or the Cryon IDE, I don't know how you pronounce this. And you can see that the the, the setup now the, the setup is started. Let's wait for this one. Once we are uh, opening our C Lion or Cryon settings, um, it will ask if you want to import or you have to do not import any setting i'm going to choose the option for not importing and go ahead and press on ok and it will continue to launch a row access 
all right and there will be this option to uh to activate uh for the license activation and it would ask you to enter the account if you have purchased this ide you can go ahead and put your credentials in here but if you want to start a trial you can click on here and it will ask you to log in or create account if you don't have one but because i have created my account and i've uh, been using the this jet brands programs area i have my user still here and they have detected my user as chris brand that's the name of my user that i used to create account for jet brains so i'm going to go ahead and click on start trial and let's wait all right after this they will show you the uh, the expedition date that it will be november 23 2021 and you can go ahead and continue to um, evaluation copy and we have to buy it when we see that it is compatible with our works so go ahead and press on continue and it will exit the setup and it will bring the new project screen so let's wait for it to come all right and you can see now the this is now the welcome screen on where you can create a new project or if you have a project that you, you were previously making you can open it by using this icon and you can also go to customize to make some uh, of the things like like uh, putting the interface on how you want it to, to appear uh, for your uh, proper coding or proper development and there will be also the adoption to install plugins and what plugins do they add a uh, another functionality to your workspace and they can optimize your work so let me go on the project to create a new project and i'm going to create a new project and when you take a closer look on the left side there will be the there will be where to, cho to choose a specific uh task I mean, before this C++, C++ library, C library, and all, all, all those things. But I'm going to, um, for example, let me choose my um, C++ executable. And it will ask me for the language standard. So I'm going to leave the defaults. The reason I'm doing this one is to see if to launch the interface. Let me call this uh, media like this one. And place create once we start we will cl we click on create to really start to load the components and the breed or the workspace that we make to that we need to create a c program and you have to wait for a couple of seconds for this to be done i hope it doesn't take a long and go ahead and place on ok for this open project wizard and click on ok got it all right and you can see now there will be a uh, there will be this um, this decoration part on where you can start for your thing and there will be this main main method and you can go ahead and continue with all the things while you are coding in C++ okay basically that's how you can uh, install this Sirion uh, IDE on your Windows 10 I hope you guys you find this video very helpful and interesting so help me to grow my channel before you leave make sure you press the like button and if you are coming on this channel for the first time and you see that it is very helpful and amazing go ahead and subscribe once that red button down there click on it and turn on the bell icon to get a notification while I made a video and like always stay cool